Welcome. Uh, this is uh, serial number 13, a Cray-1, uh, one of the first machines that delivered the capability of supercomputing, uh, and the customer for this machine was Max Planck. The structure of the machine is 12 columns arranged in, a, in an arc. The outer four columns on each side are memory modules. The four columns in the middle were the functional units and we can see here, under the perspex, the stack of modules that did the actual work. These interior four columns had all the vector units, uh, uh, functional units, floating point units, and we can see this column. There's a split around the middle section here with separate power going to the top and bottom. The outer memory stacks were also split in two around the middle, providing in total um, eight banks of memory on the smaller system or 16 banks of memory on the larger system. Was the one of the evolutions of the early Cray-1 systems. It has the familiar column stack of columns, each one of which has uh, a layer of modules. And we can see here the wiring that connects between the modules that have slid into the front of each column. This particular system has eight columns, meaning it would have four, four stacks of processor modules and four stacks of memory. Uh, the 1M introduced the ability to have a separate I.O. subsystem uh, in a separate cabinet that would come nearby and a separate SSD stack that would also come nearby. 